Today we're going to be doing a test on the Hospital Micro Air Jet Safe Model MHASX in the advanced mode. Today we will be running um, two SIV screens and we will be analyzing a detergent for a customer. Um, I'm going to be testing, we're going to be using the reused or retained sample on top of the SIV screens and I'm going to test for the percent pass, uh, the amount that has passed through the SIV screen. For testing purposes, we're going to use a 38 micron screen and a 500 micron screen. Then from here, go to the testing page. And again, for testing purposes, I'm going to enter in a 30 second um, sip time for each sip screen and I will leave it at 12 inches water pressure for both. Then we're going to press begin. Once the scale communicates and it's matching, um, press next. Then I'll add some of my sample. And I want to spread it evenly around the sieve screen. That way the sample has um, a chance to come in contact with the sieve screen. Press next on the air jet sieve. This here. You always want to make sure it's sitting down. Press next, take your lid, and start. Brush off any extra that might have clung to the lid. Next, with the retained samples, we're going to weigh it. Next, we're going to place this one off to the side. I'm just going to place it on the sieve for now. We're going to weigh the next sieve screen, the 500 micron sieve screen. Press next. We place the 500 sieve screen on the sieve, and we will transfer the retained sample. Press next, and then start again. We will press next. Remove any material that got stuck to the lid, and we'll weigh the sip screen with the routine samples. Next, so now our test is complete. You can see here the weight before and the weight after. So now we're going to go to the report page. And I'm going to press save. Always press save first. And then I want to enter in my rosin rambler. So I'm looking for my D10, my D50, and my D90. And then as you can see, it shows it here, and I'm going to close it, and then I'm going to press print, and it will also show it on the printout as well. And as you can see here, it shows us the sieve sizes that we started with, um, our sieving time, the vacuum pressure, our weight before, and our weight after. So out of the 10.86 grams that we started with, 2.68 grams are left over, were retained on top of the sieve screen, and my D10 is 4.27 microns, my D50 is 137.18 microns, and at my D90 it's 1,251.16 microns. Although we analyzed detergent today on the Hasekawa Micro Air Jet Sieve model MHASX, it is also very useful and reliable to analyze other dry powders in any field such as chemical, mineral, pharmaceutical, food, cosmetic, and plastics.